This video highlights some notable features across several Descara applications. In Descara Project Management, we provide a timesheet management feature which includes timesheet tracking and project time cost reporting. On the Project Management dashboard, click on My Timesheet. Click on the Add button to add new timesheet items into your timesheet. Select one or more customers, project names, and job names. Click Save. The timesheet item or multiple timesheet items are created. Now you simply fill up the timesheet details as you work the hours for each day. You can submit a fully completed timesheet or a partially filled timesheet by clicking Submit Timesheet. Your timesheet gets submitted to your approver. On your approver's side, he or she clicks on Approve Timesheet, selects your timesheet, and from there he or she can view, approve, or reject it. You can click on Project Time Cost Report to view the cost of the project, which is calculated based on a preset rate multiplied by the amount of hours entered in the timesheet. You can also download the report as a PDF or Excel file. Not only can the Scara eClims be accessed from any web browser, but it can also be downloaded as a smartphone app, which is great for making claims outside of the office. Once you have logged in to the Descara eClaims app, tap the navigation button and then under the Claims section, tap Add, Edit or Cancel. Tap on the plus button to add a new claim. Specify the purpose of the claim. Next, select the project or cost center and select the expense type. Tap the Next button on the top right corner to proceed to the next page. Enter the expense amount that you would like to claim and tap Next again. You can attach any necessary receipts or supporting documents by tapping the Attachment button. You can capture the receipt directly from within this app using the Camera option, or you can choose from images stored in your phone's gallery. Once you have attached the files, proceed to save the claim as a draft. This drafted claim is ready for submission. Simply tap Submit Claims and it gets sent to your approver who will review and approve or reject it. Here's a quick demonstration of how to create a basic sales invoice in the Scara ERP. On the menu to the left, expand Accounts Receivable Sales, expand Entry and click on Sales Invoice. Under the Sales Invoice tab, click on Create New and proceed to fill in the entry form. Select the customer whom you are invoicing. Next, you specify the products or services of the invoice. Click this green plus icon on the line level form and from here you will choose one or more products or services to be added to the line level form. In this example, we have chosen company formation fees as our first product or service and quantified it at 30 hours at a preset unit price of $35 per hour. Let's also add another product called out-of-pocket expense. The subtotal and total amount of the invoices is shown at the bottom right of the entry form. We can now save the invoice and the system automatically generates a journal entry number for it. It's easy to receive bulk payments against multiple sales invoices in the Scara ERP. Select the outstanding invoices and click on Bulk Receive Payment. Select the payment method used for receiving payment and proceed to fill in the details of the check. Listed here are all the invoices being paid for and you can change the amount being received for each invoice. The received amount will be shown at the bottom right and you can now save this transaction. Here's how to make direct journal entries in the Scara ERP. Under the Account Management widget, click Make Journal Entry. Select the type of journal entry to be created and click Submit. First select an account to debit and enter the debit amount. Then select an account to credit and enter the credit amount. 
You can then save the journal entry as long as the debit and credit amounts are balanced. You can also make a recurring journal entry. Click the recurring journal entry button. Specify the date when the next journal entry is generated, the frequency duration by which the journal entry is repeated, and the number of recurring journal entries that you would like to post. You will see the upcoming recurring journal entry generation dates under the Memo column. The Scara ERP allows you to directly make payments against general ledger accounts. On the menu to the left, expand general ledger slash cash slash bank and under voucher, click on make payment and then click create new to make a new payment transaction. Select the payment method and the recipient if required. Click the cell under the account column of this line item grid and you'll be able to choose your desired general ledger account to make payment against. Finally, enter the payment amount and save the transaction. Once the transaction has been saved, you can print the remittance details as well as the check template of the payment. Descara provides a number of financial reports such as profit and loss statement, trial balance, general ledger, and balance sheet. Let's look at a profit and loss statement. Simply define a reporting period here and click on the Fetch button. You can view more details of this profit and loss statement by clicking the Expand button. You can also drill down additional details for each account simply by clicking the account as you see it. Drilling down further, we are now looking at the account on the transaction level. Clicking any one of these journal entry transactions drills down to the journal entry details and from there you can even look into the actual transaction documents, such as this sales invoice details. Now let's look at the balance sheet report. Again, we define a reporting date and click the Fetch button. Click on the Expand button to view additional details. Again, drilling down further is also possible. Now let's look at the general ledger to see individual GL accounts. Again, we define a reporting period to fetch the data from. As you can see, here are the opening amounts, period amounts, as well as the ending amounts for each GL account. By clicking on the plus button next to each GL account, you will be able to see details of its transactions. Again, you can drill down further into each transaction if you want to. Those are just a few of many powerful functions that the Descara system has to offer. Thanks for watching.